The low water fuel cutoff stops the flow of fuel to the burner in the event of a low water condition. The low water fuel cutoff is tested for proper operation by a blowdown when taking over a shift. Blowdown is accomplished by opening the blowdown valve while the burner is firing. The float or probe in the chamber senses a decrease in the water level. This simulates a loss of water in the boiler and shuts off fuel to the burner. Blowdown of the low water fuel cutoff also discharges any sludge or sediment. A reset switch is activated to restart the flow of fuel to the burner. When performing a bottom blowdown, the boiler must be under light load. The water level should be at the NOWL. If a quick opening and screw valve are used, open the quick opening valve first. The quick opening valve is closest to the boiler. The screw valve is then opened slowly to the full open position. The screw valve takes the wear and tear of blowing down. The water level in the gauge glass is carefully monitored during blowdown by the boiler operator. The gauge glass must show water at all times during blowdown. The boiler operator must never walk away from the opened blowdown valves. When blowdown is complete, the screw valve is closed first. The quick opening valve is closed last. The boiler is blown down without steam pressure if the boiler is to be drained. The normal operating water level, or NOWL, is indicated at approximately one half of the gauge glass. Accuracy of the water level in the gauge glass is assured by blowing down the water column and gauge glass. The blowdown valve on the water column is opened. This prevents any debris from the water column from being carried into the gauge glass. Water and steam should discharge through the water column blowdown valve to a drain for 5 to 10 seconds. The water column blowdown valve is closed and water should return to the gauge glass. The water should return quickly and flow without interruption. Procedures for replacing a gauge glass on a boiler under pressure include the following. 1. Close the lower water valve to the gauge glass. 2. Close the upper steam valve to the gauge glass. 3. Open the gauge glass blowdown valve. 4. Remove the gauge glass nuts. 5. Remove the glass and washers. As a safety precaution, wear gloves and eye protection. 6. Install the new gauge glass and new washers. If the glass must be cut to fit, allow one quarter inch under the inside measurement for expansion caused by heat. Hand tighten the gauge glass nuts and then give them each a quarter turn with a wrench. 7. Slightly open the steam valve to the gauge glass to allow the gauge glass to warm slowly. 8. Close the gauge glass blowdown valve. 9. Open the steam valve completely. 10. Open the water valve to the gauge glass completely and check for leaks.